write the word brain in cursive. With the infusion of technology certainly into our schools, I think that children are typing a, a lot more. We certainly want to hang on to our heritage and make sure they understand how to write cursive. I think also that there are folks um, in our world that look at cursive writing as an art, and we don't want to see that become a dying art. We're holding on to cursive almost out of nostalgia uh, instead of embracing what research has demonstrated as the things that really affect cognition. There's well-documented cognitive benefits to learning a foreign language. And then you did manuscript here. If you want to try writing in cursive on this one, that's fine too. As we plan our school year, I think we really do need to think about a cost-benefit analysis. You know, the, 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 the resources that schools are given, the most important resource probably is, is time. There's only so many hours in the school year. We have to think about what really fits into there in, in terms of our priorities. Cursive is a fun way to like write letters because in the end it turns out all perfect and um, pretty. There is a bill in the um, North Carolina General Assembly currently. Um, it's called the Back to Basics Bill and it involves the mandate for cursive writing in the curriculum to be learned by the time the children leave the fifth grade. I uh, had the idea and I asked our bill drafting and our research to help me draft it. It is to have our students to learn to read and write cursive writing. These are thank you uh, note letters from students who came down and went, uh, took them on the floor of the General Assembly. Somewhere somebody decided that we didn't need it anymore because we were going more to the electronic and digital age, but they didn't realize that lots of times when you can't write it, you can't read it. Kids can print, they can type, so why do they also need to produce writing in cursive? This could be time that students are, are pursuing reading on their own, you know, they could be learning uh, in computer languages. If you want to use your iPods to research pictures of the brain. My daughter is in computer stuff, code, I, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't want to learn it, but, you know, cursive writing I've used every day, I guess, since I learned it, so, and I'm still going to use it, I guess, till I die. <laughs> we've got to make sure we're exposing them to code and the other elements that go along with the digital literacy piece. But I think that it is still going to be important where we are today to make sure that we understand how to read and write in cursive. <laughs>